make the Sochi Olympic team, came back the next year and won just about everything, including the world championship, and then struggled last year. Skating to the Cleopatra soundtrack. I don't know about you, Johnny, but I totally buy Cleopatra on Elisabetta. I'm buying whatever she's selling. Now, she's had a couple of rough events already this season, not completing the triple axel, which has been a trademark of hers when she did win that world title. This year, focusing a lot more on the other triples and getting positive GOEs. GOE is the grade of execution, how well you perform an element. Didn't perform that very well. A triple toe loop followed by what looked like a single toe loop, planning a triple toe, triple toe combination there, unable to bend into that second jump. By the way, the total for a Ling Chartron of Canada, 185.56, and she is currently in second place. Beautiful triple flip, double toe. The thing about Lisa, every season when she shows up, I never know who we're really going to get. <laughs> Last season, her skating really regressed. The year before, she was a world champion. This year, I feel like we're off to a good start, though. She looks pretty solid. She went from the world championship stage, winning a gold medal at Worlds, to placing eighth at the Russian national championships. How does that happen? Well, the Russian ladies' star factory that they've got going on over there is outrageously strong. Elizaveta didn't show up strong for the Russian national championship last year and was unable to make the team. She's had a career with a lot of highs and lows like that. Like many of her coach Alexei Mishin's students, Elisaveta has a beautiful triple loop. Mr. Mishin bases all of his jump techniques on the loop and thinks that the loop is the strongest and most basic of the jumps. I love her landings. Her jumps look very consistent this year. She looks sure of herself, so her landings get even better. There's always a little flair she adds to them. This is her required step sequence. She said she thinks this program is at a higher level for her, especially from the last few years. There were some critical comments about her skating, sometimes too much dancing and not enough actual skating. So she's trying to remedy that. Lisa does often choose similar styles in music with her coach, Alexei Mishin. There's a lot of Spanish and sort of Egyptian-y feels to her programs, popping the double axle there. And I think that that can get a little bit stale. This performance, while I do think she is very striking as Cleopatra, just isn't strong enough. quite a good free skate. It just didn't have a lot of oomph. I'm not sure if it's a stamina issue, but it just sort of seemed like, ah, I'm doing a triple and I'm gonna skate over here and do another little spin. There was, there was no sense of performance. Being a world champion, you have to skate at a certain level and she's done that in her career. But here, artistically, she leaves herself very vulnerable. This program actually shows her weaknesses in choreography, and she could actually lose this to Satoko Miyahara and maybe even Elaine Chartrand. This was the Triple Lutz 
double toe loop, double loop, beautiful technique on that Lutz, so big and so popped up way in the air. Speaking of technique, the entries into her jump, so precise, it gives the jump a much better shot, straight in the air, beautiful rotation. I do love her jumps. She's a great jumper, great technician, great skater, but it's about putting the package together, especially when there are so many other strong ladies in the world. It was in this building back in 2011. She made her Grand Prix debut on the senior level. She won, then went on to win Grand Prix France, make it to the Grand Prix final. That's the kind of start that she had to her career, 187.99.